to make all of us proud as yes. Italian women. The beginning was difficult to get to sponsors. It was during the Christmas festivities. Everyone was with their families. It was difficult. Here. How do you pronounce your name? Fyla. Fyla. I don't know why, I keep mentioning Fyla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fyla. Okay, great. Uh, we're just waiting for our general manager to join us. But on behalf of the team, before he comes, I just want to say welcome. Thank you. We're truly proud of you. Today we have the management team to see if we have to, so let's just wait. Great. of uh, Gini Tomato Mix and Kumu, the brand that supported Gini Tomato. And uh, as part of uh, Mantra, we celebrate local flavors. And when we saw the opportunity, we were like, if somebody from our home yard is doing this, why don't we jump on it? So I want to start with uh, some introductions uh, from my left. And then after that, we'll exchange some pleasantries. And today's a good day. We have uh, a special day once in a month where we celebrate people with anniversaries and birthdays and we believe that it's a good day for us to connect to celebrate. So I'll start from my left. Well, if you can start with the introduction, that will be good. So first of all, welcome. My name is Walter. Mm -hmm. I'm here for someone. It's nice meeting you. Oh, 
My name is Amit, I am the sales director. So, David is my name, and um, I manage the business in Ghana. So David, we're not looking for you to do a very long conversation. We just wanted to get some remarks from you and then we'll join the larger team to some points. So we will have another conversation there in the presence of our entire team, but and forgive my code. Eh? We want to welcome you to GB Foods and um, extend our congratulations to you once again. We are eagerly waiting for the certification by the uh, Guinness Book of Records authorities. But even before that, we want to welcome you to the family of GB Foods. Um, welcome and congratulations once again. We followed every minute and every hour of it. Uh, we are excited that we beat our cousins in Nigeria. <laughs> if, if, if for nothing at all. We are excited that we beat our cousins in Nigeria by, by more than twice the time that they beat. So that in itself, if for nothing at all, is a big achievement. <laughs> so congratulations and maybe we will continue the rest um, there. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. position your, your work in this better. Today is Spotlight and um, 
as part of the icing on the cake, we have a special guest in our midst. Well, if you were following the news, if you are here and you don't know <laughs> anything about the person I'm going to introduce, then maybe I don't know where you were around Christmas. But um, you must have heard 227. If you are here and you have not heard 227, then I don't know where you were in December. But the Guinness World Records has become a big deal now. And our guest, Fela, executive chef Fela, took it upon herself to embark on a quest to try and break the record. And I don't know what is the latest record certified. Eh? All I remember is my cousins and where is um, Tola? <laughs> All I remember is my cousins and my in-laws broke a record. And I was in Lagos when Basi was presented to the board with a lot of pomp and pageantry. And I just said, when will we beat my cousins and my in-laws? <laughs> and if for nothing at all, just because we are beating my in-laws and my cousins, for me that's a record. Thanks, <laughs> chef, executive chef, Fela. We beat them by more than twice. <laughs> I guess we are really rubbing it in. And so today, we wanted to just outdoor Shafela to the GB Foods family because Pomo as a brand supported her on this quest. And if you were following, you know that the brand supported her as she made, she did her 227 hours. That's 10 days, eh? Yes. 10 days short by a few hours. That's a long time. And um, I saw several videos of people around and her food was eaten by real people. Like it wasn't like boom blue among This was real food eaten by real people. And so welcome Shefela. And um, to her left or to my right is um Ghana's most beautiful the, the winner 2022, who is our one of our ambassadors or influencers in the Pomo Belt for the Pomo brand. <laughs> Again, today is your opportunity to probably take a picture of Taya. So Taya, welcome to GB Foods. And so today is Spotlight. We'll do the normal Spotlight, which is celebrating and for uh, Taya Chef Faila. We do this on a monthly basis where we celebrate our own team for anniversaries, which is birthdays, work anniversaries, and then also learning. We give some learning recognition for those who have done exceptional learning uh, on our platform. So you are joining us to celebrate today. And after we do the initial protocols of our own, and then we will continue with um, the other reason why we are here. So Fela, to, to make it simple, what we will want to know in um, a few minutes is just share with us what preparation you made for this, how did it go day by day, what kept you going? Because our cousins and in-laws did. Was it 90 something? <laughs> 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 and even that she almost gave up. Even that she almost gave up. So how did you cross those milestones without giving up? And then eventually what really got you there to that mark? And then were there any low lights? Were you almost giving up at a point? And um, some people say you would have gone more, but your husband at some point just said, This is my wife. She's not. <laughs> I have not donated her as a gift to the world. She's not, she does not belong to the Guinness people. It's my wife. And he just said, Hey, doctor, stop. 
and then they said stop. So tell us the true story. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome. Warm welcome. And I'm truly privileged to have a wonderful people as you having us, myself, my management, and Kaya this afternoon. It's nice meeting you. My father would always tell me that in every success I see of another woman, I should take the positive out of it. Undeniably, I've been on social media for long, but I've been there with positivity. I celebrate my fellow women and young guys who have made it to the top with wonderful things, things that society would applaud of all of us. And for that reason, uh, when I heard that a young lady from another African country had embarked on the cooking marathon in the Guinness Book of Records. I took the positivity out of it. The positivity was to prove a point that we young girls in Ghana can do better. Wow, applause. <laughs> Around the country, 
But the fact that I applied for such a thing and was privileged enough to have been given the go-ahead by Guinness uh, World Records meant that I actually needed to make all of us proud as yes. Ghanaian women. The beginning was difficult to get to sponsors. It was during the Christmas festivities. Everyone was with their families. It was difficult to talk to anyone to get support. And I wasn't asking for any form of support. I simply needed abundance, food in abundance, to go through this project. And so it was difficult. But God came through for us. Wonderful companies, including a Pomo. Believe me, came true. And it was beautiful, very beautiful. When I started my journey, now the speculations were that, oh, somebody has done this in Uganda, somebody has done this in Nigeria, somebody has done this wherever. I am trained in such a way that somebody's thing <laughs> from the north, we were trained in such a way that if you have a cake and I have kuli kuli, believe me, your cake cannot intimidate me. Wow. And for that reason, I was given uh, the order by Guinness Book of Records to do 120 hours because per what they have, Alan Fisher had done 119 hours and some minutes or seconds. And so uh, my 120 hours I gave to them was still valid in their books. Therefore, no one else matter. What they have asked me to do is what I will do. Um, when a fellow Nigerian was doing hers, we can recall that so many people jumped into cloud chasing just to take away what she was doing for real. But she had her own reference number from Guinness to embark on that thing. It wasn't going to end with her. It was going to continue with any other person who was going to attend that same record. And so I wasn't moved by someone is doing what someone is doing what no. I was minding my business with my 120. But getting to my fourth and fifth day, when I saw the lab across the country, mm from the grassroots like never before. In the last 50 years of records in the Northern region, something of that sort had never happened. It was a big platform for me to make the whole nation proud. No matter how difficult it looked like. Um, the accumulation of five minutes in every hour that I would accumulate to get at least 30 minutes to go backstage and sleep. That 30 minutes wasn't just used by myself. It was used by doctors, it was used by my psychologist. And so I would totally say the sleep wasn't there at all. But I had to keep going. I had to prove that point when anybody sees a potential in a young girl making effort, a young guy making effort, they can always support them and they will make them proud. So yes, it just may be I had the opportunity to stop when I broke Alan Fisher's record, broke another somebody Ugandan record I could have stopped. I kept going because I wanted to show gratitude for everyone who have supported me since childhood till now. People that I know and don't know of all forms of support financially, physically, prayers, whatever, social media. Believe me, I am the best person to tell you the gratitude I feel in my heart and I'm here to express it. <laughs> grateful for everything, no matter what form you supported me with. And we have submitted our evidences. We are not expecting that it will be treated just like others because our foul was that big. 
10 days wasn't that small. Yes, we have our professionals in Accra here who are still certain to go with uh, priority payments for us to be able to get our validation and record on time and be recognized in the Guinness Book of Record. And I'm praying that if everything goes well, you all will be proud of the fact that the certificate doesn't belong to me. So, championing authentic Ghanaian meals to national screens and beyond. Congratulations, well done on this remarkable achievement. Well done.